How do you find good topics to blog about that'll generate revenue? Hey, what is up, guys? It is Harrison Barron, The Boy Entrepreneur. And like I just said, how do you actually go about finding these topics that are going to generate revenue and clicks for your website and your business, right? Because this is something super, super important. Most people don't even realize, like, hey, they are sitting on buckets and buckets of gold. I mean, buckets of gold. But what they're doing is they're not creating content that will work for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Unlike ads, this is totally free. I mean, I am a horrible writer and I've ranked number one on Google for a variety of things and I still am on the top 10 of Google all the time. So I want to share with you guys the process that we go through here at my agency, the process that you can absolutely follow. I'm going to show you guys some pretty cool tools that will make your life a million times easier easier. Now, ultimately, after you've already completed all of the rest of the Kajabi trainings that I've had just before this video, there is the last one, which is content creation. You absolutely have to make more content if you want more people to visit your website. That's it. There's no there's no secret sauce to getting tons of clicks. My website typically gets about a thousand or so clicks per month, give or take a couple hundred clicks right there. And it's consistently growing. Just a couple months ago, it was about 500 clicks. It's at just over a thousand now, and it will probably get to 2000, if not not higher in the next couple months. So I want to show with you guys what the exact process that I go through when I'm creating content for my Kajabi website. So this is it. I mean, this is my this is my website here. In the last three months, I've gotten 124,000 impressions, 1.53 thousand uh, clicks, which is 1,530 clicks. And this is the data that it's giving me, which is pretty cool. So if you actually look, I mean, it's steadily going up. Now, is it going up at the aggressive rate that I'd like it to? No, but keep in mind, if I pull this out to about six months, you'll actually be able to really see the results of the hard work, right? It's, I mean, it's pretty pretty impressive here. We went from 300 impressions per day to somewhere in the 1,500 up to 2,300 per day, which is great. And the clicks follow that. I mean, uh, just six months ago, I was getting, um, you know, one to six clicks per day. And now I'm typically swinging between 35 clicks and six clicks per day or five clicks per day. But the, the vast majority is between 18 and really about 30 uh, clicks per day. And the interesting part is, and why this is so important, is because a lot of this actually comes from my blogs. If you actually look at the total impressions and clicks on all of this, you'll see that all of it says blog, 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 because people search for information and answers and value. They don't look for your course or your product to buy. That's what people have a really hard time understanding. Why do I create content? You create content so you, people can know, like, and trust you, right? This is the easiest way to have your, your website work for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So you'll see on here, I mean, blog, 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 blog. I mean, the homepage is on here, which is great. But then it goes, blog, I mean, it's just, it's, it all says blog on here for as far as the eye can see. Course options. Great. I mean, that's it. So this is why it's important to have it. I mean, we're currently ranking for well over, um, a thousand keywords. I, I, I pulled this up in the last video here, but you'll be able to see well over a thousand keywords here. So pretty cool that it's, that it's doing that. And and the reason why this is important is just because this is going to impact you and your website. But this is it. I mean, this is why you need to to create good content, right? And a lot of my content weirdly even hasn't started ranking yet. So it's just taking Google a little while to trust my website, which is totally fine. And this is my website, right? HarrisonBaron.com. I've produced a lot of blogs on here, specifically 243 blogs because two of them are unpublished. So how do you actually go about getting this traffic, right? And if for anyone that doesn't believe me, I'm number three currently on Google, right? And two on Google. This is, yeah, number two on Google for, for a variety of things. And you can actually find that out if you go to, uh, let's just go over the last seven days here. If you wanted to actually see what I currently rank on Google for, um, you can you can look. I'm, I run position one for uh, a bunch of stuff, but you got to be careful. Like 1.6, are podcasts live? I don't know. Are they? I mean, they are. Sometimes that's not what I meant to search. Um, I grabbed all the information. I just needed to grab that one. And then if you search our podcast live, uh, look at that. I'm number two. So I'm, I'm probably bouncing between one and two, which is great um, currently. And, and that's how I know this works, right? It's bringing in thousands of clicks per month, which is phenomenal. So you might be thinking, Harrison, give me the meat and potatoes. I want to know how to go do this. Well, let me tell you this. If you're going to make content, and I'm, I'm actually going to pull out to myself here. If you are going to make content, focus 
80% of your energy on this. And here's why. If you don't focus on this, you are going to create tons and tons of articles and make the mistakes that I made. So do your homework, do keyword research, go through and do all of this. From when I created a lot of my content till now, I've learned a tremendous amount. So what I'm about to teach you is going to save you hundreds, if not thousands of hours of headaches and confusion. And on top of that, I will. this is going to give you the secret sauce to getting in the top five on Google, typically the top one. I ranked the top one for a lot of different searches. So let's get back into this here. The first thing you're going to need to do is get yourself a program like SEMrush or similar to SEMrush. Now, there's two programs that I would highly recommend. It's SEMrush and Ahrefs. There are several other products and programs out there that do similar stuff. However, I would venture to say that they're not nearly as accurate on here. So I, I have this cut off a little bit just so you guys can't see my customer information here. But right off the bat, you want to go to the one specific area. Now, these tools have so much capability. But the first thing is, is your keyword magic tool. And really what you want to do is you want to search for different keywords that you can actually rank for. So let's just type in, because I'm currently making a Kajabi video, I might as well make a Kajabi creation for all this, right? So the keyword Kajabi, keyword difficulty 62, probably can't rank for that Kajabi login, Kajabi pricing, probably not going to rank for, for some of these. But the interesting part is you'll see here, Kartra versus Kajabi, right? So if I had experience with Kartra and I may down the road, this would be an article that would be worth probably a lot of money for me to make. So what am I going to do? I'm probably going to go make this article, right? And the reason why I use Kajabi is specifically for the fact that, hey, I, I, I have a Kajabi course. I'm teaching Kajabi right now, right? Um, some of the things that you need to take into consideration though, and, and let me cover this, you have your broad match, you have your phrase match, you have your exact match, related keywords, you also can exclude keywords, you have some advanced filters in here, right, Res uh, results in SERPs, uh, SERPs stand for search engine results page, word count, I mean, it's pretty powerful, they just did a pretty big overhaul of this, custom range, and then your keyword difficulty, so for many newer websites, you typically want to focus on between zero, and really about 30 is, is the max, so for this, I'm just going to put in zero, uh, I'm pretty confident in the fact that I could probably rank up to 45, um, Actually, you know what? We'll go to 49. I, I'm, I'm pretty confident in my ability to write good content with good information that you can do this. So right off the bat, it's going to give me a ton of different keywords, right? That's the whole point of this is to use keywords. Now it's given me specifically 239 keywords related to Kajabi, Kajabi affiliate program, Kajabi versus Kartra, Kajabi, uh, Kartra versus Kajabi, right? You have uh, Kajabi templates, you have Podia versus Kajabi, you have Amy Porterfield Kajabi, you have Kajabi logo, you have Kajabi membership sites. And what I'm looking for is a couple different things. One is I'm looking for the volume. Typically, I want the volume to be over a couple hundred, depending on how I think it could be. And, and a lot of this stuff could potentially be long-term uh, blog articles, then then if it's something that's kind of evergreen, that's going to stick around for a long time, then definitely you should focus in on that. For some other areas where it's Kaj Kajabi versus Kartra, you have to be really careful or Podia versus Kajabi because Kajabi and Podia are probably going to be making updates all the time. So if you're going to make this article and you want to consistently stay on the top you know, first page of Google, you are going to have to go back and revise and fix and make sure it's the most accurate information. This then becomes a, a source of continuous growth. If you just want to give your, your, your thoughts on Kajabi and how Kajabi works and the affiliate program and what they do in the Kajabi, in Kajabi, this is great. Now I'm just using Kajabi because this is exactly what I do, but I mean, you can go through here and do this and I'm going to give you guys some more examples. But really what I want to do is I want to look for the the, the volume that's going through. I, w I do want to see the trend. I think the trend is pretty valuable, especially if the trend is slowly headed up like Kajabi login, right? It's on a nice little uptrend there. Your keyword difficulty, your cost per click. So if you were to run ads, how much it's going to cost you on average, your competitive density, right? So it's, it's, it's everything that's going to give you a breakdown zero to one, one being the most difficult, right? So, um, how likely you are to be able to actually rank for those, your SERPs, so your search and results page, uh, which it's going to tell you guys your FAQs, like just what it finds on the website, and then the results for those searches. So if I was to type in Kajabi login, there's a million results out there, which is crazy to think about, right? But you got to think they have a couple hundred thousand people using their platform. They have a ton of people writing articles and all that kind of good stuff. So it just, that's why it's got a million, but who knows? I mean, everything varies. 
So what I want to do is I want to go through and I really want to find something that I'm interested in in here that I could write about. So Kajabi is a little bit more difficult. Maybe it's Kajabi website examples, right? So I am going to go through, I'm going to grab Kajabi website examples. Now I know that this is probably something that I could rank for. It's currently 19, 210 search results. And by the way, if you're watching this and you're like, I could write a Kajabi website example. If you watched the last video, I talked a lot about what's called domain authority and page authority. If your website doesn't ever talk about Kajabi, if you go and try to write this article, you may never rank for it because Kajabi does, or Google doesn't trust you writing about Kajabi. But if you are a gardener or maybe you have an interest in teaching people, I don't know, speed writing or speed typing or, I don't know, painting water bottles or laser engraving water bottles. I mean, whatever it is that you choose to have, right? Think about other areas that you can write about. So in this case, I'm going to use Kajabi website examples, right? But what am I going to do? Just write a, web, a, a blog article that says Kajabi website examples? No, that'd be ridiculous. Nobody would want to search that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a pro program called Keyword Cheater, and I'm just going to hit sheet keywords. Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to go through and give me a ton of different it, it's going to generate ideas right and a lot of these ideas can be used for your blog so this will go indefinitely basically for as long as you want i don't quite understand how they give it away for free but they do and it gives you search volume cpc uh cost per click priority queue which is pretty interesting but it's going to go through and it's just going to spit out as much information as it possibly can now while i'm letting this go i'm going to let it go for a few minutes it, it will just keep generating and generating ideas in the meantime i want to show you guys a couple other cool little things now i'm going to move off of kajabi really quick and i'm going to talk about I don't know, let's say gardening. I think most people understand gardening in this world. So let's just type in gardening and, and same same parameters, right? Uh, zero to 49, keywords, graves into gardens, lyrics. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Uh, and I'm just looking for those, you know, colonial gardens, graves into gardens, chords. I guess that's a song of some sort. 18, gardening hat, right? Perfect. Uh, definitely a seasonal trend here because we just passed through winter, right? So if I want to go through gardening hat, right? And keyword cheater just wasn't pulling up the things that I wanted to see, right? And you'll see already that it's pulling up a ton of good information, right? So uh, Kajabi website examples, Kajabi membership site examples, uh, Kajabi landing, how to create a Kajabi landing, uh, how to create a landing page in Kajabi, uh, Kajabi membership site examples. It's just going to constantly be spitting out information, how to build a website on Kajabi, right? These examples of Kajabi websites. Okay, great. Maybe it's top 10 examples of Kajabi websites. But either way, that's just going to keep running in the background. Now, maybe you're somebody who's like kind of tall, you know, I'm, you're not really sure on where you should go. There's two other programs that I really, really like to use that are going to make your life a million times easier. The first thing is, is a site called Niches. Now, it looks like a very colorful, friendly site. It is incredibly powerful. So snippets of tech, like the amount of stuff that this website can do is really, in, it's just amazing. It all uses AI. So don't think like, well, I don't know what I'm going to get out of it. Let's just go to the blog tool and let's just say, choose things you want to be a part of your plan, right? Blog listicle items, listicle style, post titles, uh, blog post intro, blog post outline, right? And in this case, I'm just going to write this. Uh, I'm going to just remove all this because it auto, auto fills in here blog or company name. So in this case, maybe it's a uh, great, you know, I don't know, the great gardener. Blog category is a keyword like self help. So gardening hat, what is this blog about? Uh, best hats for gardening. And what it's going to do is now it's asking you for a title. So this is right. That's typically what you're going to want to do. So uh, top 10 best hats for gardening in the summer, right? And and that's it, I'm just giving it vague information. And while this goes, and you guys can see what, what <laughs> out we've generated for other people, um, I also wanna show one other program. I'm gonna be using two programs back to back because it does take a few minutes. And I'm gonna use a program called copysmith.ai. And this is another AI software. I've used it plenty of times on here. You could have blocking ideas, blocking intro, blog outline, blog post, bullet point extender, production, uh, product description. I mean, it just goes on and on. So I'm just going to do blog ideas because I think that this is, it's just making your life easier. There's no secret sauce in here. And I'm just going to type in gardening hat. And I like using more than one tool because sometimes one tool doesn't always produce the results that I was hoping for. So now that we've had, you know, some time that's passed, right, it's going to, you know, refresh to view. So it's going to tell me what I'm going to get out of it. And it's going to give me four suggestions. So let's view this plan that it gave me. 
top 10 hats for gardening, one sun protection, UV, you know, UV protection, cool weather protection, rain, right? Top 10 best hats, which hat to wear, uh, when to wear the hat, what will the hat, uh, what the hat will keep you from getting, right? Make sure you are protected from the sun. Be sure to wear a hat that will uh, stay on your head. Wear a hat that is breathable and will not make you sweat. Wear so honestly, ac across all of these, this is probably some information that I can do something with. Now, is this my favorite? I don't know, but I think piecing together some of this could be good. And the other thing is, is now we have this loaded. So what are the best gardening hats, right? Top five gardening hats, the best gardening hats, right? And it's going to just give you like that first opening line of what it is. A gardening hat is an essential piece of equipment for any gardener. See this article to learn about the best gardening hats available and what makes uh, each hat so well suited for the specific kind of work. Right. I mean, it's just going to give you some good information. And as you know, a gardener's hat is one of the things that can seem totally unnecessary until you put it to use. Then you can uh, then you wonder how you uh, ever got by without it. A, and this is written by AI. Keep in mind, a good gardening hat will keep the sun off your face, protect your eyes from the glare of direct sunlight and also protect your ears and neck from bug bites. All in all, pretty sweet hat. I mean, that's phenomenal for something that's written by AI. So I think using a variety of these softwares is going to get you where you need to be. But the most important part of all of this is doing good keyword research, right? Understanding what are, and, and don't get me wrong, this is out of, out of the vast majority of keyword research, this is probably just getting into a, a deeper groove, right? There, this can go pretty incredibly deep and you can do competition keyword research, but for the, for the overwhelming majority of people that are going to go to the the end of the earth to, to find good keywords. This is the easiest way to do it, right? You have Berlin gardens, uh, you have gardening apron. I didn't even know that was a thing, right? You have, uh, what is this? Nickerson's gardens. And there's page one of 598 pretty wild to think about. Right. And if I wanted to shrink this up even more, I could always go back in here and say, I don't know. I want something between zero and 30, right? That that'll remove a lot of, uh, keywords that I probably can't rank for, right? Gardening hat, uh, gardening apron, uh, the garden's apartments, uh, better homes and garden candle. Didn't even know that's a thing. And you're just going to find cedar gardens, creekside gardens. Okay. That's probably something that people have is creekside gardens, right? Um, and you're just going to go through here and you want to see what has good search terms, what has good keyword difficulty, right? And then you're going to go in to keyword cheater, I would highly recommend niches. It's just going to give you a great foundation for, for what you want. And then you have AI, you, you have copysmith.ai, which just consistently does a great job and keeps impressing me over and over and over again. Now you were probably thinking like, well, what happened with keyword cheater, right? So I stopped it, but you're going to be able to see all of these keywords that, that it's kind of come up with. And it might take 10 or 15 or 20 minutes or maybe an hour of going through this. And you're actually going to start to see, and let me zoom in a little bit here, but you're going to start to see some of these keywords show up. Kajabi uh, landing page examples, Kajabi hero examples, Kajabi membership, membership site examples, Kajabi blog examples, Kajabi example course, how to create a course in Kajabi, right? So it's coming up with a variety of keywords based around that initial keyword, which is, if I remember correctly, Kajabi, uh, Website examples? Yeah, Kajabi website examples. So it's just coming up with other content for me to leverage and use to make the best educated decision possible. After you go and do this and you figure this out, then it's time for you to start writing this content. And you can take this, you can use it, you can fire up a new blog post, and you can copy this if you choose to learn how to build a how to build a Kajabi course or a course in Kajabi. Right. And 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 that might be the topic you decide to go with. Right. You could always use copysmith.ai to come up with something a little bit better, maybe a little bit sweeter, right? And and or just a keyword, right? Kajabi website. Let's see what it generates. I'm just curious to see what it'll what it'll kick back. But but these are this is the process. You kind of it's it's not it's a streamlined process, but you have to be willing to use multiple tools to get to the answers that you want. How to create a great Kajabi website. Kajabi is a CRM for creators, marketers, and small businesses. If you have been considering a membership through a uh, website, if you have been considering a membership website solution, you are not alone. But what it uh, but what does it take to build one and so on? Right. It's just going to keep giving you great pieces of content over and over and over and over again. And that's it. That's the whole process behind finding a good keyword, finding a no niche keyword, right? Or a, a light keyword that has little to no competition. 
putting it in Keyword Cheater, using the fun little programs like Niches or Copysmith.ai, and going through and doing the necessary homework that it takes to create great content. Once you figure out your title, maybe a meta description based on what Copysmith.ai produces, and you start writing, look at what the competition is writing. Go do your homework on that. A lot of people forget that. Once you figure out, hey, I'm going to go after uh, gardening hats, right? Go Google gardening hats. If we Google gardening hats, right, let's just see what comes up. Gardening hats. Uh, the Home Depot, 12 best hats for, uh, for gardening in 2021, HGTV. Amazon, 12 of the best gardening hats this season, right? The 10 gardening hats, uh, gardening hats, cornerhats.com, right? So it, it seems like it's somewhat, you know, lower competition. You'll see domain authority, 85, 96, 24, right? So if you've had no, if you've had a website for a little while, 13, there is potential for you to get to the, the top page of Google. And you, if you have a really, really good article, this is, this is simply a no brainer for you. Go find those low competition keywords. Go create beautiful articles, sometimes multiple articles, right? You might have one and then several other ones that support that, right? Like a pillar. And ultimately, this is the process you're going to need to write killer blogs in Kajabi that are going to rank on Google and bring you thousands of clicks per month. Now, before I let you go, I do want you to think about one thing. I don't expect anybody that's watching this video to go make 100 articles tomorrow. That would be absurd. But here's where you could definitely make some leeway. I would, I would venture to say that everybody has between one to three hours of free time per week. I don't care how many children you have, right? I'm one of five. It doesn't matter. You should be able to pull out one to three hours per week. You should be able to write a great article with in-depth research and good content and well, well researched keywords and using your tools correctly, spend three hours on it. And when you do, you'll come out with sometimes a multiple list of keywords that you can go write articles about and then spend an hour or two each week. I do it when I walk my dogs. I take my laptop, which is sitting right next to me. I bring it over to the garden or, or our like makeshift dog park. The boys hang out, my two dogs, Hunter and Tucker, and they run around. And what I do is I sit there and I just write nonstop for one hour and I try to get through at least a thousand to 2000 words. And after that, I don't even reread it. I'll come back a couple days later and I'll reread it again, or I'll just write a different article and then I'll visit it again in a week or two. And I constantly have an art of a flow of five to seven articles that I'm working on. And when I feel like working on that one specific article, I'll go work on that one specific article. And all of those articles will drive hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of clicks per month, back to my website. That is the process. And once you prove to people that you're an industry expert, you can start dropping in those little lead magnets all over the place that everybody likes to talk about, right? Maybe you mention your, your lead magnets. This is the process you have to go through to get the incredible results that most people want from their websites. It removes the need to spend ads. It removes the need to go run Facebook communities, right? Most of the content that is ranking for me on Google is well over a year old at this point, and it's still ranking in the top five spots on Google and probably will continue to rank on the top five spots of Google. And if I wanted to put in a little more work, I can go through and modify and edit and adjust and make sure that those articles are as good as humanly possible, optimizing them and giving them the best possible chance at hitting number one. That is the entire Kajabi SEO process. Everything that you've learned so far can be applied to any single website out there, regardless of what platform it's on. You will have incredible results. Just keep all of this in mind. Depending on what platform you're on, there may be some other things that you need to know about, but this is this is it. This is the gravy. This is everything that you're going to want to know about the platform. So I hope this video helps. I hope you guys find value in this. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, little notification bell. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.